Hey guys, JT here from Top Catch in Halfman Bay. Um, just wanted to go and talk to you about fleas. Uh, we're just inside, in between Motor Tapu and um, Waiheke. I almost forgot where I was. Now we've got a little workup happening here. Um, just like a normal uh, small workup of anchovies in the Horaki Gulf. Now we're fishing in about, what are we in? 22 meters of water. Now 22 meters of water, and this one here looks like a little 14, it is a 14 gram, 14 gram bruised banana flea. Now these things are made out of tungsten. So they are one and a half to one and a quarter times the, the, the um, density of lead. So they'll drop down to the bottom with ease. And the beauty about these lures, you can cast them as well. So we're fishing with the um, Paul Senior's Ocean Angler Spinder. Now you can see the uh, rod down here. It's also, it's a spin version of the uh, bender. So it's a great little setup. It helps swing your lures and we've paired it up with the um, pen slammer. So over here with with your little uh, UV tassels, this kind of gets what the you know the fish are targeting as well. So having like a smaller lure, you're trying to match the hatch of the anchovy fishing. As you can have a look around here, just pan around here for us over at Ashton. You can see there's a lot of birds they're just chilling out. We've got a tans here and there busting up. They're just focused on anchovies. Nothing big, and they're all about the same size as this flea I've got on here. <laughs> so, when you're tying onto a flea, you can see there's a ring that has the hooks on it, where my thumb is. So you want to be tying onto that. You don't want to be tying anywhere else. This is a solid stainless steel ring. So it's going to be quite handy to have on your uh, line. It's not going to chafe it. So when you hook onto something decent, it's actually going to stick onto the fish a lot better. The unit does fail. It's normally failing from the uh, split ring. So when it fails from the split ring, at least you're still connected to your fish. So the beauty about these, like I was saying, you can cast with them. You can fish them hard on the bottom. So we're in about 22 meters of water. And it's not going to take long to drop these onto the bottom, so... Just come out to the end of the workout, hopefully we'll get something here. But if not, it's a very easy way to fish your lures. You can see, I haven't even cast this one out, I'm just dropping down. We do have the sea anchor out. So I'm just ripping out some line and... I'm going to see... We're on the bottom. We are on the bottom, so when you're fishing with these as well, you can fish them in a couple of ways where you're slowly winding. And if you feel a bite, just give it a steady lift. If you've got like a very soft tip rod like the uh, Spinder, you don't want to strike it too hard, too aggressively. Uh, they will stick themselves. So the other way you can wind it, um, retrieve your lure is just a steady wind. Fish tend to chase small bait fish and that helps get them on the chase as well. So when you're fishing and you start hooking up, you don't want to play it too aggressively. You only need a couple of kilos of drag. So it's very, very light. It's not too heavy at all. The reason being is the fleas run light gauge hooks and you don't want to pull the hooks out. So they are small, but they will get your kingies if you play them out right. So we are fishing in 22 meters of water and they're light enough as well that you can actually cast with them. Great little lures to use at this time of the year with all the anchovies around. Look at that, smashed to bits. Um, now they'll get anything from small snaps, big snaps, kingfish, and my favorite, the Trev. So he's coming over for sashimi tonight. So I think the other half's gonna be happy with that. Cheers guys.